So we're moving along with our bell housing and we first started out we went zero here and we had some number up there, a number here and a number here. Then we realized that because we're going to use those for dialing in on the lathe that was not the smartest because we really want to put our jaws here. If we had a jaw where these motor mounts are it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't chuck up very well. So then we made new places and again we set a zero and then we put a 40, the other numbers just come as you roll it around, whatever they are. Since this is the, uh, we did bore it out to give us a clean uh, circle to work off of. We bored it out a little, but we're still not to size. And what we'll do, since we're 45 thousandths off size, I don't, it's more steps, but I just don't want to go right to, we could technically go to a 0, 45, 31, 12, and it should come out right and bore it right to size for our transmission adapter, but I'd rather leave us a 32nd of an inch away, bore it out, and then check it again with a second bolt up just to, uh, just to be sure, just to be sure. The other thing, we're going to have it against the face of the lathe chuck with the back of this, and we will face this front part. We won't face the mounts out there. We'll just face out to here, and we have got our starter right now. We've set a little small amount of backlash in for the starter gear. We could look in here and have it blocked out so that we could uh, see that we had just a little bit of backlash in the, the gear teeth there. And, uh, and then we transfer punched it. So when we have it off, we'll lay this down on the radial arm and drill and tap the holes for the starter. So that's done too. And uh, we're getting way closer. Uh, over here, I've got sleeve, sleeve in the transmission, Loctited before I clean up the inside. And we put a screw in here for an extra pin besides the Loctiting, which you can see I dimpled the other side on when I was hand drilling this and went through. And that dimple won't hurt anything. But if, if I was thinking ahead, I should have, uh, you don't expect yourself to go too far. You know, you've been doing this a long time. You don't expect to overshoot and hit the other side. But you could, I could have put a piece of steel in here to block it so it couldn't hit the other side, so it wouldn't have that problem. And then after putting it in with Loctite also, it was a, a slotted head brass screw. And I ground away the top because I didn't want somebody in the future looking at that and saying, oh, a screw, this needs to come out as I disassemble it. So uh, since it's supposed to stay in there, we'll just make it look like a rivet, which is pretty much what it is. It's a threaded rivet at this point. And uh, yeah. Plenty to do. Other people came along and have got jobs. We've got more jobs coming in that have to be done. And uh, I still want to try and get it back to them by the first this next month, but we're getting close. Both close to being done and close to running out of time.